Before starting, have a pen and paper handy to record measurements. To measure your dog, it's best to use a flexible tape measure. If you do not have one, you can use a rope with a knot on one end and a yardstick or a retractable measure. The four measurements we will be taking will be the neck circumference, which is right above the shoulder bone, the chest circumference, which wraps around the back of the front legs, the waist circumference, which is measured in front of the back legs, and the body length, which starts in the middle of the chest, wraps around the shoulder, through the torso, and past the back leg, and ends in the middle of the back, below the tail. Before measuring, write down neck, chest, waist, and body length on a piece of paper. This will make it easy to record your dog's measurements as you go. While using the flexible tape measure, make sure your dog is standing on all four legs and wrap the tape measure around the neck. Do the same with the chest by wrapping the tape measure behind the front legs. Make sure that you're not pulling the tape too tightly as shown here, as this can result in inaccurate measurements. Write down the measurements as you go. Next, wrap the tape around your dog in front of the back legs to get your dog's waist measurement. Keep your finger on the end of the measure to get an accurate number. For the body length, start in the middle of the chest. Wrap it around the shoulder. You can drop the end of the tape as long as you're holding it against your dog's body as shown. If your dog sits down at any point, bring him or her back up on all four legs and continue measuring. Guide the measure to the middle of the back just below the tail. Repeat the process as many times as needed to get a consistent measurement. Using a rope is similar to using a flexible tape measure. Just make sure you have a knot at one end and also make sure the rope does not have a lot of give. First, wrap the knotted rope around your dog's neck much like you would if using a tape measure. Pinch the rope where the circumference ends. Measure the distance between your finger and the knot on a yardstick or retractable measure. Repeat this process for your dog's chest, waist, and body length measurements.